Okay, at the moment, this is set up to receive ADSB and I uh, what uh, this is the flight radar 24 server and what this does is it picks up aircraft uh, ADSB transponder signals and it sends them in data packets to flight radar 24 so I'm sure you know what flight radar 24 is um, it's um it's actually a volunteer based uh, system so they rely on people around the world to feed aircraft transponder data to them so that um, you can track stuff right so what i've got here is um, another software called plane plotter let's try to get that to work okay so adsb runs on uh, 10 90 megahertz Oh, what on earth is happening here? Let me. Uh, we should give it a bit of time. Come on. I think something is is uh, locking the port in the background because this is the first time I'm seeing this message. Let's take a quick look. There we go, Mr. Dump 1090. I think that's the culprit. Let's try again. Okay, so now we've got RTL 1090 running. And here we can see the uh, aircraft that it's receiving. And this is only a tiny antenna. Um, so this feeds the data into plane plotter. If I click the green button there, it's going to start up and it's going to start picking up aircraft. I can overlay it with uh, Google Maps. And now we can see that's London. And these are all the aircraft that it's picking up. Uh, ADS B signals are vertically polarized, so we need to use uh, I mean, whatever antenna we use needs to be in a vertical position. And a tiny antenna like that can pick up um, aircraft from a long distance away. Cool. Alright, thanks for watching this. Um, obviously, I use this to feed uh, Flight Radar 24 and in doing so, I get a free pro membership subscription. So that's what it is. Um, right. Thanks for watching.